All right, guys, so today we're going to be trying out Infinite Tower, which is located in Infinite Miracle right here in the trials. And uh, I have yet to try it right now. And as you can see, you can still have Temporal Tower, which is the other tower that you can still play. But if you click here on the bottom right where it says Infinity Tower, boom, it takes you over to the Infinity Tower. Now, I heard this tower is actually really, really hard and very, very challenging. Like I said, I haven't tried it yet, but there are some rewards here, as you can see here. Um, but you need star rating and I'm guessing you get star rating as you clear these floors. Now, I do have some people and the farthest person I have on my... Uh, friends list is uh, one person that made it all the way to floor six and there seems to be 10 floors um so it seems like it's pretty hard so let's go ahead and just take on the first floor and uh as you can see we're going to be going against th these people right here and it can give you a strategy um of like what people are using for this floor now in order to make the star rating go up you actually have to click on these check marks here by the red debuffs right but they're not actual debuffs but i'm guessing they're uh they hinder your ability to um clear the stage uh, as you can see like time travel at the start of the enemy's turn their cooldown have a chance of being reduced right so if you click on that it gives you a star and again the more star rating you have the more rewards you will unlock so as you can see well the first reward we would need six stars so i'm actually going to try to aim to get six stars here so the ones i have checked is time travel which is the one i read earlier then i have disaster withdrawal which at the start of the enemy's action a random enemy debuff will be removed uh, so it's a debuff removal, so that's fine with me. And enemies are immune to AP down, so I will try to not use any AP manipulating uh, espers. So let's go ahead and see what team we're going to build up here. So because we're not going to be using any AP pushers or anything like that, I brought in my tanky bruiser team. And this is actually the team I use a lot in arena, in RTA. So uh, let's see how this goes. We do have the Gabriel for the immunity and the defense buff. And we do have the hang UA to de cleanse ourselves from any debuffs. And then we have our boys, the heavy hitters, Thor, Renzi, and of course, guys, the newly attuned unit for me. So uh, if you do change your mind and you want to go back and change the star rating, you can click on this edit star rating uh, uh, icon thing and let's just jump right into it already right let's see how this is gonna go before we move on i'd appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel help your boy get to a thousand subscribers like the video if you like the video share this around and press the notification bell button so again this is end game content right so we're gonna go ahead and use uh, the ultimate here and uh actually i feel like just putting them putting seer on them and we did which is very nice um they do have three stewards so we might get nuked right Wait, Gabriel might die here, but that's okay. Oh, there's two waves. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Okay, so they actually attacked back, but my Renzi took that pretty well. Let's go ahead and drop their defense. Um, and to be honest, let's just nuke them with Zeus here. And I think we should be fine with the first floor. Boom. And uh, I'm going to save my ult for the next round uh, because we do we don't really need to use it right now and we're looking good we're looking good um i think uh, my gabriel should uh, heal up pretty well with the uh, recovery buffs and she did so let's go ahead and put that immunity buff back on us nice um uh attack down which should protect us pretty decently and i'm thinking of just transforming and putting buff block on them uh but there's really uh no yeah let's just do it let's just do it uh we're just gonna go ahead and do that and do some damage um i'm still not gonna do we got two stuns here which is very nice we're gonna go ahead and just attack the sunas um they are gonna get Unas is gonna try to put immunity on them but uh it went on the ta because she had didn't have buff blocker mm, good hit um now let's go ahead and keep uh honestly we should take out these uh very scary sanders because you know sanders sanders is a menace all right gabriel's out but we should be able to good aoe we got the stun um and let's go ahead and take out this last sanders here boom took him out and now we should be fine uh and that is floor one guys we did it with six stars and um we will try uh floor two i, I believe uh let's just go ahead and get off of this buff blocker dispel and uh seer dude guys is so good but uh, yeah, this is my tanky team. So uh, I was able to withstand some damage and still deal out some damage while having some good, decent supports there. And I didn't use any AP manipulation, to be honest. So there you go. We uh, cleared it with all six stars and uh, we got the reward. We got a 100 uh, uh, crystal reward. 
and uh let's go back to the map and let's go go and uh collect our our stars our uh our 150 uh Dexus crystals now we got floor two and i believe we're just okay so when you go into floor two i guess every floor is gonna have different debuffs and buffs that you can put on yourself so um the next one is probably gonna be another six so yeah it's an increment of six uh for you to get your rewards every uh every six stars but i'm just gonna put the floor one video out now and so you guys can see it and I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a series out of this or not, or if I should just make a bulk video, but these floors are pretty difficult. They are actually very hard because I was trying a uh, floor number two here, but I'm hoping to make a series out of this where I can come out with a second floor video of Infinity Tower, depending on how much you guys like this series, right? So yeah, we'll just go by that, but I hope you guys did enjoy this. And Infinity Tower is a pretty, pretty difficult content here in the game. It, this is like super duper end game stuff. And you need you need to make sure all your people are 60 and all your relics are full, um, like leveled up all the way plus 15 because yeah, it's very, very challenging content. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys have been doing the Infinity Tower, how far you guys been able to climb, how you guys liking this uh, new type of content. And I will see you guys in the next one. It's your boy Jada. I'm out. Peace.